Any virus could be new, but our immune systems are ancient. So the one secret, what is it that I will share with you today? Vitamin D is super important for you to supplement at this time because even in the US, more than 75% of people are deficient in vitamin D. And in India, where, or anyone who has melanin pigment in their skin is definitely deficient. So it's not how much you take, but how much actually is available in your blood, which is important. They did a study of 212 people in Southeast Asia who were infected with the COVID-19. And what did they find? The levels of vitamin D were exactly proportional to the infection what the patients had. So anyone who had a low level of vitamin D had a very severe infection and results of the infection. And anyone who had a high level of vitamin D hardly had any symptoms and could go through the infection easily. So here the standard which was used was 30 nanogram per ml, which is actually very less because I consider even 40 to be on the lower end. And ideally you want to reach between 60 to 80 nanograms per ml at least. This is the ideal level. So what's the connection between vitamin D and magnesium? Without magnesium in your body, you're not going to absorb the active form, the conversion to the active form of the vitamin D does not happen. So you could be taking enormous amounts, but unless you supplement it with the magnesium. So the Moringa has amazing amount of calcium and magnesium. So it's a natural source of uh, magnesium. And you have all the sunshine in the world. So here you have your greatest army in front of you. So what happens in a pregnant woman Let's see, pregnancy itself is a response where when the egg gets attached to the fetus, it's like a pro-inflammatory response where all the T cells, the macrophages, monocytes, everything completely shifts because it's trying to adjust to this new reality. And then all the inflammation comes down and the you know, fetus is in the womb for the entire time. And once again, when the baby is being born, you once again go into a pro-inflammatory state where everything shifts for the expulsion of the baby outside. How elegant is this system which is in tune with nature? It's only when something goes wrong in this balance. It's been proven in women who are deficient in vitamin D that the children could go in for type 1 diabetes as well as preeclampsia can happen and that's when you have a huge cytokine storm. So everything, though what happens with the virus is a cytokine storm, our innate immunity is still our best bet. We have all the T cells, we have every part of our immune system which works fantastic with vitamin D. And once again, just balancing yourself with this is the greatest gift and I insist that you listen to your own wisdom rather than be afraid of the first wave, the second wave, or how old I am. So remember, you are super strong and you can overcome any infection. Thank you so much.